Welcome today. I have chicken thighs here. I got lots. One, I'm at my daughter's house. A big pack from Costco. So I'm making all of it. So we're going to need to measure tablespoon. All this, we're, I'm going to start off with a tablespoon of each. I'm going to tell you right now. Oregano. Roasted garlic and pepper. Lemon and pepper. And Montreal chicken. One tablespoon. Turmeric. I have my spoon in there. One teaspoon. Paprika, a teaspoon. Salt and pepper to your taste. Lemon to your taste. You know, Greek people like lots of lemons. <laughs> so, oregano and lemon, I guess, to your taste. And we're going to bless it with extra virgin olive oil. About four to five tablespoons. I'm going to bless it right now. And I'm going to eyeball everything. So you can see. That's about a tablespoon. And I'm going to continue. I'm going to use more lemon later. So now I'm going to mix everything together nicely. And let it sit for about 20 minutes. I have some uh, peppers, some fresh onions, and baby spinach, which I'm going to wash and chop. Got some basil and some parsley, fresh. Everything is chopped. We're going to start with our chicken now. I'm going to bless it again with about three to four tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil. Wait for it to warm up and put the chicken on the frying pan. Five to seven minutes on each side until they're nice and golden. Chicken, you have to cook it properly. Check and see if they're ready for turning. Perfect. Don't put it on high, put them on medium because the chicken really has to cook. And you don't want it to dry it either. So continue flipping. Cover it and let it cook. Let it saute there for another seven minutes, six minutes until it's nice. Right. Rinse it out nicely. I rinsed my spinach out. Okay, now take them out and continue with the next batch. I also have some tomatoes. And I have frozen dill. I don't have fresh, but I still have frozen, so I'm gonna use that. Tomatoes are chopped, and I'm gonna chop up two garlic here. Spinach is chopped. Take the chicken all out now. Transfer it. Okay, now we're gonna, same frying pan, we're gonna put a little bit more, about two, three tablespoons and we're gonna saute our vegetables. Throw everything in there. Saute until they have a little bit of a color. Gonna add our garlic now. Once that starts giving an aroma, we're gonna add our tomatoes. Once the tomatoes are squashed, we're adding our rice, a cup of rice, to two cups of water. So I'm doing one cup of hot water, one cup of broth, one cup of chicken broth, and one cup of hot water, which my kettle is. Now measure whatever cup you're gonna use it. This is a big mug here. 
and stir it. Now the rice is half cooked. You see that? We're gonna start adding our chicken in. Once the chicken is uh, put in the pot there in the pan, cover it at least for three minutes. After about three minutes, ooh, let's check. See the rice? Now we're ready to put our herbs. We can put everything in there. Bless it there with everything. Your dill, your parsley, your uh, oops, your basil, your fresh spinach, and mix it. Everything is in. You can just cover it for about a minute, and it would the spinach is gonna get soft, and then we can mix it easier. And now just. Put the spinach in there, mix it up. Okay, everything is mixed. It doesn't take long for the spinach. That's why we put all the herbs last so that you can taste everything. The rice is al dente, so we're gonna shut everything off now because it's still gonna be hot. And now if you're Greek, <laughs> again with the lemon. Okay, we're gonna Bless it with some nice fresh squeezed lemon. And it's ready. That's my own recipe. Okay. Oh, wow. Look at that healthy dish. So enjoy. Always eat it in good health. Don't forget to subscribe and God bless. Yummy.